The decade takes an analog value and breaks it down into the number of ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands the value contains. The decade uses the speed key decade, and you can get one into your program by expanding the analog operations folder under logic symbols and then clicking and dragging the decade over to the detail view. The decade tells you how many powers of 10 occur for a given analog input up to the thousands. By default, only the ones values are shown. The tens, hundreds, and thousands can be shown by expanding the outputs using Alt plus. So if we pass the decade a value of 1,368 on its input, we'd get thousands one, hundreds three, tens six, and units eight going high on the output. When the enable line is high, the outputs are allowed to change, and all outputs are set low when the enable line goes low. But the enable input is optional. Note that the decade will only break down the inputs into ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, so anything greater than 9999 will have a missing power of 10. It's also important to keep in mind that this symbol only works with unsigned values, so negative numbers will give you weird results. Let's build a quick example program. I'm just going to add a ramp, a toggle, and four analog initializes. The ramp will have its up and down inputs tied to the X panel, and its output will go to the X panel and the analog input of the decade. And the ramp is going to have a time of 3 seconds. The toggle's clock input will be driven by the X panel, and its output will drive the decade's enable line. The last things we're going to do are take the 0 to 9 outputs of each power of 10 and route them to their own analog initialize symbol. And to auto increment those signal names, I'm just using the F4 button. The parameters of each initialize will be 0 through 9, and their analog outputs will be routed to the X panel. This saves me from having to put 40 buttons on the X panel. And now that that's taken care of, let's compile and upload. So the first thing that we notice is that when we play with the up and down inputs of the analog ramp, nothing happens on our decade, and that's just because we have it disabled. Once we enable it, then we see the magic that we expect to happen. We get our thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. But once we go above the threshold of 9,999, we lose whatever's in the 10,000s place on our number. So for example, we have 13,610. On the output of the decade, it just shows that we have 3,610. We just lose that 10,000. And what's also interesting to note is what happens when you disable the decade after something's already been passed through its outputs. So when we disable it, all of the values of the analog decade technically go to low. But the fact that we're using analog initializes to give us numerical outputs means that those values are sampled and held. The output of the decade will only change once its enable line is re-enabled. The first thing you're probably thinking is, well how can I get it to show me the 10,000s unit? And you can use an analog div mod to do that for you. But keep in mind that the decade uses digital outputs, not analog. And the second thing you're probably wondering is, when am I ever going to use this? A really common example is for sending an alert when a projector's lamp has passed a certain number of hours of usage. So let's say you had your projector and you wanted the system to send you a message after the lamp has been in use for 5,000 hours. You could get the lamp hours feedback from the projector as an analog value, pass that to the decade, and then just check for whenever that thousands five output goes high. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see something else in our videos, leave us a comment below or on our Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram pages. Maybe MySpace. We might have a MySpace.